Hi, my name's David. In tonight's video, I want to talk to you about a couple of my cars here and why I think they're going to be future collectibles. But uh, just some, to add a little bit of credence to that, I've been buying cars since um, 1967 and I've had a lot of them. And uh, uh, I'll just show you a few of them here. Um, 1975, I own this 1965 Jaguar XKE convertible. I had about four of them. I was buying them for around $2,000. That car today, if it was still sitting here in this garage, probably $50,000. 1965 Chevelle, 327 four-speed SS. I bought that car in 1968 when I was 17. Sitting in a guy's driveway, I paid $500 for it. Unbelievable what you could buy cars for back then. Going on to the orange one here. A 1972 Volvo P1800 ES sport wagon. I bought this car in 19... No, around 2000. I paid $600 for it. It was gold painted it orange and then I sold it in 06. This car sat right here. Right there. When I sold it for $10,000 in 06, if I had have had the forethought, that car today is probably worth rock bottom $30,000 if I had never touched it. <coughs> but I sold it for 10. And that's just the way trends go. And uh, you have to realize that. And it's hard. But the bottom line is buy a car because you like it. And hopefully it will appreciate. So now getting over to these two cars. This is a 2011 Volvo C30. The reason that they made this car is mostly because of this car. This car today, you could probably buy some of them now for $3,000. Not the top of the line one, but you can buy them cheap. And they are a blast to drive. They're really fast. Stock horsepower 230. You can update this and upgrade it to over 400 horsepower. For a little car, that's fast. I think that this is going to be a collectible. Now, the red one here, this is a 1990 Buick Riata convertible. They only made them from 1988 to the spring of 1991. They only made a, roughly 21,000 of them. Very, very low production. Fantastic car to drive very comfortable, every option you can think of. They quit making them because they overpriced them. They were over $40,000 back in 1990. Okay, And in a convertible, there's only a, about 2100 that they made. So, if you're looking for a nice, cheap car to get into for less than 10 grand that may triple or quadruple in price, really think about a Buick Riata and a Volvo C30. I'm going to keep mine. Anyway, if you like this uh, little video, subscribe to my channel, David and Susie, and I will have more car tips for you. Thank you.